what's a good day when you get your car back after it being down for a while. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and for the first time in about three weeks, back in the truck. And I couldn't be any more excited to be back in this thing. It has been so freaking long since I got to drive this. So uh, it was down for obviously a lot of the work we had done with it, the uh, electric fan conversion, then we discovered a coolant leak. Um, which I'm still kind of getting suspect like suspicious that it's still there. I'm getting very sus um, That it's still there um, Because I swear I'm getting the hint of coolant, but I'm not smelling it very strong So I can't tell for sure whether I'm just smelling things or if we spill coolant at some point And that's what I'm smelling or what's going on with that. So uh, I just got to keep an eye on it uh, I'm currently just kind of babying the truck because it's been three weeks since I've been behind the wheel of it um, I'm having to recalibrate my brain to it because I've been driving the Equinox so long and the Equinox, while it is a ton slower than this thing, um, does have a lot of like modern amenities like the electronic throttle, the uh, much stronger brakes. So my brain is like having to actually fight to get back used to the more analog feeling truck with the a lot weaker brakes and the uh, throttle cable. Um, I, like I said, part of the reason I'm driving it like quite a lot right now, at least I'm attempting to, this is actually the first day I'm driving it, um, is uh, when we when we did the intake, it kept running lean, so we kept having to clear the lights. My mission, ex my, my tag expires um, on the 4th, which is the day after, uh, the day before this video went live, um, if you guys watched it on the day it came out. So, yeah, I've got a day or two to drive it, a crap ton of miles, about 50 miles, I believe to uh, get the ECU ready. And then from there, we gotta run it up, get the emissions test done, and that is that. And we'll be back in business as usual. So uh, I just gotta hope, I, I put the old intake back on it just to kind of really ensure that I won't be having any issues with it. Um, but I am monitoring everything to kind of make sure that it, it behaves itself. Um, the weather has been absolutely fantastic. It is like 65, I believe, out right now. So very chilly, very chilly, but um, I am totally okay with that. For those who know me, um, I made a whole video a couple years ago why fall is the best season for car guys. Despite car meat season going down, um, which is fine for me because I just, I'm not really interested in going in any more um, like hometown meets. Uh, I'm a lot more interested in going to stuff like caffeine and octane more, um, which has also been a bust thanks to uh, our global situation at the moment. Um, I'm ready to get back to that though. I've missed that show like crazy. I'm really excited to be back in this thing. It has been forever. Um, <laughs> I'm not having to recalibrate as much as I, I thought I would. Uh, I was expecting to be kind of struggling to drive this for a minute, but uh, I'm doing just fine. Um, the steering is of course a lot more vague. It's a lot lighter than the Equinox. For an electronic steering car, the Equinox X just quite heavy steering, which is kind of good and kind of bad. I usually like cars that have heavier steering, but it is nice to kind of hop in this and kind of have a really light steering and just more of a comfort oriented steering. Um, so it helps out a lot in that regard. Um, it's not as lightweight as my dad's Mustang. Good gosh, if you ever want to drive a car with like electric steering that feels like effortless, it's, it's a S197 Mustang, um, possibly even S550. I've never driven an S550, so I can't tell you for sure, but I've driven my dad's S197 several times. And I can tell you for a fact that that is definitely the case with those cars. Um, obviously, the throttle is a lot more responsive, even more responsive than it was uh, before it broke. Because if you guys have been watching the channel, if this is your first video on the channel, hello. Um, this truck has an electric radiator fan conversion that we did right before it went down. And uh, this is my first long drive that I've gotten to make with the fan conversion on. So um, one thing I'm having to acclimate to in that regard is I, right here on my, my SETX4, I have my uh, coolant temp showing. And I've been struggling to watch it climb past 190 and I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no, it's overheating and then hit 200 and then turn, cool itself back down with that fan. Um, because unlike the clutch fan, which runs constantly, the electric fan only runs when it's needed. So it warms up really quick. Um, I'm actually hitting uh, operating temp very soon compared to a normal uh, with a clutch fan. It usually takes me about, about a mile or two of driving kind of softly for it to heat up and uh, now, uh, by the time I get to my front of my neighborhood, it's nearing operating temp. So, like I said, I haven't been getting on it or anything because I'm trying to ease it back into use, um, as you should any car. If you get a car and it's been sitting for a while, don't go hammering it on the on the first drive you get to make with it. Give it a chance to breathe, 
and let it figure out what's going on. Um, people make this mistake all the time. It is never good to hammer on a car if it's the first time it's moved and X amount of time, like, you know, especially if it's been more than a week. Usually a week you're good, but you know, three weeks to a month to, you know, multiple months to years even, you don't want to be hammering on a car like that if it's been sitting for a long time. Like, even for me, if I went out and bought a project car right now and I knew it was sitting, I wouldn't even punch it on the test drive. I'd wait until later when I've driven it enough for it to be kind of happy for me to be like, okay, let's go full throttle. Um, but yeah, so the truck is back in commission for now at least. Um, I got to get the emissions dealt with. I got so much stuff to do with this thing. I actually just left the landfill, as you guys can probably tell. Um, because while this was down, since we don't have a trash service, I am the trash service. Uh, we had trash piling up out there and uh, it was so bad. I, I, my, my dad is pretty sure I'm gonna be taking three separate trips, um, including the one I just completed. So two more from here and uh, to make sure that we get the everything taken care of. I'm not gonna lie. I usually don't like this exhaust that much in terms of the rasp, but I have darn sure missed hearing that. It has been so nice to get in a car that actually makes noise again. Like, for a car guy, like for some people, it, it's kind of lame to have a loud exhaust, but when you're a car guy and, you know, you you love your modified exhaust, regardless of whether it's loud or kind of quiet, you miss it a little bit if you don't drive it for a while. And that is exactly what's happened here. Uh, I have missed driving this thing, despite how irritated I've been with it breaking so much recently. I do, I did miss driving this truck and uh, I'm very happy to be back behind the wheel and uh, whoo, man, feels good, feels good. Great day so far, great day. The weather's fantastic, the truck's running great. I'm back in the truck. <laughs> I got a new PC built last week. I mean, it has been, while emotionally kind of draining this week, it has been nothing short of great because I get to have the one thing that really, like, that's not my friends and family, obviously, that makes me pretty happy to be around here, you know? So, I'm pretty happy right now. I am pretty darn happy right now. As long as this thing doesn't have issues, like, um, like it did the last few times I've driven it, we're gold. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of that. I, I know I've just been rambling out of excitement for so much. Um, I, I'll be honest, I was really nervous driving it earlier. Uh, I, when I left the house, I was like, oh no, it's gonna have issues, it's gonna have issues. I didn't trust it, and um, right now, at least, knock on center console, we've been doing just fine. Um, so yeah, this video is mainly just to kind of talk about the truck being back up and running. Um, it's not really meant to be very action-packed. I may do one pull for the video, um, because I've driven, you know, about, maybe about 10 miles, not 10 miles, maybe about five, five miles or so to let it kind of do its thing. I'll let it warm up. I let it, you know, get fluids going and trying to make it pretty happy. So that way I can be a little harsh to it. And uh, on the way back, you know, obviously nothing too insane because I did just get it back after three weeks, almost a month of it sitting, but it is, you know, kind of mandatory after not getting it to do an actual pull for a minute uh, to actually get to have some fun. Give it about half throttle. That felt great. So, okay. So one thing I wanted to talk about, I've been hearing this like pulling of power and I couldn't figure it out. Well, while the truck was broken, I figured it out. Um, it was not a fuel system issue. It's uh, the torque converter. This torque converter, I remember when the shop, when I picked it up from the shop, they were telling me, hey, that torque converter is really strong. Just letting you know, it's got a 97% lockup. So what I was just hearing, since it was in second gear, going pretty, you know, pretty much half throttle, um, was the torque converter locking up and doing its job. And uh, so that means it's working. I'm pretty excited. Um, so I was a little nervous about that because I was like, oh no, I'm having fuel system issues. This thing's about to blow up on me. Nope, that was just the torque converter doing its thing, uh, which explains why it's very uniform. It doesn't do it, you know, it's in like one pull, it doesn't do it, one pull, it doesn't, it uh, does. Um, if it's in second gear at all, it's gonna do it because it's gonna get in the RPMs to be like, oh, he's trying to go. And it's gonna lock the torque converter up. Um, so that felt pretty good. Um, like I said, it's been quite a while since I got to do something like that. And uh, just a half throttle kind of baby pull was pretty good. But let's uh, let's give it a little bit more. <laughs> oh 
no, I miss this. I have missed this a lot. I was so irritated with this thing uh, during the time it was down. I was so upset and uh, this has made up for it. My mom called it. She was like, you're gonna be happy to get back in this thing. And she was right. I'm pretty happy to have my car back. You know, this thing has been down for, for quite a while for me. Um, I'm just hoping that my uh, fuse for the uh, radiator fan is still good um, because that's been an issue. It's my neighbor. this so much <laughs> all right i think i'm gonna wrap this video up here i hope you all enjoyed this video of me just kind of getting my truck back if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe for more content coming soon on the truck uh i'm gonna go get this thing parked up and then uh have fun the rest of the day uh, <laughs> i'll see you guys next time have a fantastic day guys and uh, i'll see you in the next video take care guys